Makai Becton is primed for a bounce back season in 2023. After battling injuries for the last two years, Makai is finally healthy. So let's take a look at his All-22 and I'll show you why his rookie season was one of the best we've ever seen. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown and I have been looking forward to this one. It's Makai Becton's rookie season. I can see it in the comments already. Luke, why are we looking at this? It was three years ago. He hasn't stayed healthy. Look, Makai Becton can't help that GVR got thrown into his knee in week one in 2021. It's not his fault. Yeah, he was a little out of shape, but Makai Becton is the X factor for the Jets if they want to go on a deep playoff run in 2023. So let's take a look at his tape. We're going to start with the running game and what he does in space because it is ridiculous. This first play here, left-hand side of your screen, look at Makai Becton just abuse a linebacker at the second level. I'm telling you, this is illegal in 40 states. New Jersey just isn't one of those. Breaking it down a little more thoroughly now, you're going to see Becton fake the down block here with the play action and leak out to the second level. He picks up this linebacker from just outside the near hash and drives him and throws him to the ground for a pancake five yards outside the numbers. Are you kidding me, guys? This is one of the most ridiculous showings of grown man strength that I have ever seen on an NFL field. In a rookie season, to get a guy out in space, pick him up, forklift him, and just throw him to the ground with a big old pancake finish. This guy is one of the most supremely talented athletes in the NFL. He finally looks healthy. Look what he can do in space in the running game. This rep is almost as good against the Raiders. We're going to see Becton on a pin-pull concept, something that Lafleur ran a ton, and I'm sure we're going to see it with Nathaniel Hackett as well. Have a look at the big ticket in space, Makai Becton, getting to the safety. And once again, it's the power in his hands. Yes, I understand. This is a mismatch from a weight perspective. But look what Becton can do. The ability to hit his target in space, to slow his feet down, and then bang, look at the safety's head just go flying back. There's nothing you can do about it. Becton is the most powerful athlete in the league. These heavy hands straight through the chest of a second level defender, we're going to finish him off. The safety ends up outside the freaking field. This is ridiculous. For a guy who was at this stage 360 pounds to move like this in space on a pin-pull concept, to get to the second level and hit with this caliber of hand placement and strength, it's just not normal. Makai Becton is a freak show. But in 2020, the Jets also ran a ton of these traditional outside zone looks. And have a look what Makai Becton can do on the front side of those. Absolutely absurd. Right-hand side of your screen here, the big ticket. Look what he's doing to a defensive end. This is a 280-pound athlete he's going up against at the line of scrimmage. Have a look at what Makai Becton does to him at the point of attack. Oh my goodness. We're going to win the leverage battle, get underneath these pads with tight hands, and he just stands up that man and look at the position of the defensive end. He is helpless. He is just getting thrown back with one arm and just piled into the ground. We're going to pancake him again because Makai Becton is a nasty finisher. But this is what I love the most. We're going to get up and yap at the Jets sideline. Run behind me. Why would you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? Are you kidding me? Look what he does to this dude right now. Ridiculous from Makai Becton. And one more, this time against Cleland Farrell. Again, right-hand side of your screen against the Raiders this time. You want to see one-arm strength? Like, you don't see many tackles that can move defensive ends with two hands like this. Makai Becton causes, what, seven, eight yards of displacement on the front side of this play with his right arm alone. You want to talk about the reach he gets with his wingspan and the ability to punch with one hand? Ridiculous. And then we're just going to keep moving Cleland Farrell out of the way. Just look at him. He's going for a ride. You need a bus ticket. He's gone that far. Amazing. Blocking in the running game from Makai Becton, whether it's on the front side of an outside zone look like this, or whether it's out in space on a pin pull or an end around, he is just one of the most special gifted athletes in the NFL. But now it's time to bust some myths, because I know there's going to be people saying, yeah, but he wasn't good in pass pro. He was a run blocker his rookie year, but he struggled when he was blocking for Sam Darnold. Sorry, you're completely wrong. Yeah, he gave up a couple of sacks, but that's not how you evaluate a guy in pass protection. You have to look at the whole body of work, and PFF ranked Makai Becton as the 11th best tackle in pass pro with a 76 overall grade. That is outstanding. 
Here are the tools that allowed him to do so. Makai Becton here, one-on-one -on -one against Miles Garrett. Not sure if you've heard of him. This is a gorgeous rep for so many reasons, and look at his ability to stonewall on the back end. First of all, 45-degree kick step. Becton gets out of his stance so well. As I said before, this is him at 360 pounds. What's he going to do at 340, 350 that he's playing at now? This time against Bradley Chubb, another guy who's had a double-digit sack season. Left-hand side, number 77. It's not even a concern for Makai Becton. Look how easily he handles him around the edge. Once again, he's so fluid in space as a mover. He looks like he weighs 310 pounds. But then again, it's the patience in his hands, the ability to defeat and swipe away Bradley Chubb's hands, and then just reestablish your footwork through the block, and we're going to walk him around the ring. It is perfect for Makai Becton against, again, a top 10, top 20 rusher in the NFL. But we're going to be patient. We're going to shoot our hands and then just work him around the corner. Sam Darnold, he bails from a very clean pocket because that's what he's going to do. But Makai Becton once again shows off all those tools that I think are going to allow him to break out in 2023. Okay, let's pivot to a rep against Nick Bosa now. Coming off Defensive Rookie of the Year in 2020, Makai Becton does a fantastic job with his recovery skills here. Yes, off the snap, he gets a little bit too far outside his left leg. He's reaching and he's not in a particularly powerful position. But look at the recovery skills. The ability to rework his base through the block, get in front of him, and then look at the match and mirror ability. This is special, guys. These movement skills are absurd for a guy the size of Makai Becton. Look how he handles this inside move. Get in front and stay in front. I love a tackle who has the ability to keep moving their feet and their base through the block when they've got the defensive end engaged and we can match and mirror. That is what I look for. And this was a fantastic example for Makai Becton against Nick Bosa. So to finish off, let's go to the other Bosa, and this time we're going to go to the Chargers, and it's a rep for Becton against Melvin Ingram. Right-hand side of your screen, look at Makai Becton, the patience, the punch, and once again, the ability to work his man around the corner. These reps were all over the film against some of the best rushes in the NFL. He had such a difficult slate. I rattled off the names before and you've seen them in this video. We're talking about reps against Miles Garrett, Bradley Chubb, Nick Bosa, and now Melvin Ingram. And look what Big Ticket did to them. Once again, it's about defeating the hands, timing the punch, keeping your chest clean. Look how Makai Becton's got nothing in his chest. He cannot be beaten, bullied, bull rushed because he is controlling the rep. And then from there, we're going to get our hands tight to the inside of the chest and just force him around the corner. Look at that beautiful pocket that Sam Darnold has to pass from, and it's because of Makai Becton. Guys, I hope today's video serves as a reminder that Makai Becton is one of the most talented players in the league, and I honestly believe that. If he can stay healthy and get some injury luck, I believe he's going to be the difference for this New York Jets offense.